last year we had problems with Tesco, Sainsbury's and Asda's because they were tightening up their, uh, the rules and regulations uh, with regards to barcodes and their standards. Uh, so basically we had tiny little products which basically means a smaller carton mark and with barcodes they need to be a certain size for them to be scannable and we had problems trying to fit these barcodes onto these tiny cartons and that's when I got involved with GS1, had a training session with Ben Clark and uh, he spoke about where they came from, uh, why they were so important uh, for these big companies and um, we then worked together after the training session, one-to-ones, occasional phone calls, a lot of bugging and calling up and uh, we basically got to a point where we're all happy, everyone is happy with the way that we work. Uh, with the software we can produce barcodes that are a lot smaller um, but are still within the GS1 standards. So the training was really, really, um, really valuable to Talking Tables. Again, like I said, we had problems and issues with Tesco, Sainsbury's and Asda with our carton marks and they weren't, uh, they weren't passing basically and they weren't approving them, which basically holds up the production line. Um, so I had the training, it was really, really good. Um, ben, my trainer, took it from the basics, so talking about where they started, uh, why they're so important, why we need them, and why these big companies have started to bring them in. Um, and the training was actually invaluable. It's actually eliminated a lot of the problems and we now have a smooth process um, through our supply chain. Uh, also, I've become a barcode expert within the company. Um, people come to me with problems, questions. I now have software where I can generate specific barcodes with certain uh, requirements, whether they be 80% of an EAN barcode or to be at a certain height, I can manipulate them. And also the training allowed me to understand why parts of the barcode were so important to have on, which, which parts that you could leave off, things that were relevant, um, like the bearing bars. Uh, and they basically got me understanding what barcodes are, how to make them and uh, what to use them for.